Hello everybody, it's Mo on the go with Shiro. Woo! Hi Shiro. Hi Mo. Where have you been, girl? Oh, I'll tell you all about eh, it. Who almost <laughs> took Shiro away, man? Hey. This guy's singing her some songs, eh? Hey. Oh, I found out the song. I did not sing it. I'm making her sing it as punishment. <laughs> So I'm getting confused. Can Forgive see. me, guys. Forgive her. <laughs> she knows not what she do. Eh? She just bring me embarrassment here. <laughs> I hope you like the song. She know we missed you a lot, man. Where have oh, you been, girl? I missed you guys too. Shiro went traveling. Mm. She went on a road trip. Uh, she's yes. come back with some attitude. Uh, with, some, with some Swahili. Some Swahili. <laughs> uh, some Swahili. Swahili. Woo. Swahili. She's telling us, move out the way, man. You know. Time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's actually coming up with excuses about why she's late. Uh, <laughs> she's coming up with excuses or she learned, uh, she heard excuses from her guy. Why he was late when she was cooking and waiting for him. <laughs> and why she's so annoyed now. You know. And so he's come up with all kinds of excuses. And you mm -hmm. swallowed it. Uh, you swallowed mm -hmm. the bait. You know, you know, when you love or <laughs> what you do, <laughs> you're not the only one falling in love. I know I can miss Trudy of falling in love with Nigeria. You tell us where you fell in love, my friend. This is love season or what? Oh, mm? I was here in our neighboring country, Tanzania. Uh -huh. Oh, such a big and green and beautiful country. Yeah, mm. by the way. Yeah, tell us about it. Tell everybody about it, guys. Oh. Hey, our new subscribers, this is us. I'm sure you've not seen some of us. Some of you are new. You just joined us the other day. You've been mm -hmm. missing Shiro. Mm -hmm. You've been singing me preach on Sundays and all kinds of stuff. Shiro, the crazy one, is here. <laughs> Shiro, the troublemaker, is I'm right back. here. Let it's her back. entertain you. <laughs> she went to Tanzania. Uh -huh. And then? Yeah, so... Tell us about this Tanzania. I tell you about Tanzania. Mm -hmm. First, it's so big in size. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like about 600, I believe. It's, it's big. It's about 947, 100,000 of kilometers Nine, squared. Like, 947,000 so kilometers So let me square. estimate 950,000 uh -huh. kilometers squared. That's like a that's an like, estimate. That's 950 kilometers 
50,000 kilometers. That's almost a million. Almost a million kilometers squared. Yes. Ah, Tanzania. Ah, oh, I think they should give us some. How can they have all that country to themselves? 31st, 31st <laughs> largest country in the world. Really? Wow. And in Africa? Did you find that one out? Oh, no. Ah, just... <coughs> 31st largest country in the, in world. the world. That's a huge yes, country. It's a big country. And it's country. really big, and the roads are fantastic, isn't it? Oh, tell us about roads. the roads. Tell us about like the road, people. Like the tell roads us about the weather. It's so fun because uh -huh. the road are, like the roads How are did you good. go? How did you go? Okay, so I went uh, by mm -hmm. shuttle uh -huh. uh, from Nairobi uh -huh. to Dar es Salaam. Uh -huh. But of course, that's how much did it cost? It cost about three thousand five hundred. And where, where were you going exactly? So I was going to Dar es Salaam, uh -huh. and then down to Morogoro, uh -huh. and then finally to Arusha and oh. back to. So I started going straight into Da, then uh -huh. coming into the other towns, but okay. near Kenya, near All right. And did you bring us some like pictures, videos? And oh all yes, right? I did. Or did I just oh. did I just like you know, like sit here and just do <laughs> Uganda, and you're sitting there to relax and sleeping all the way? No, you'll see the content. <laughs> I got a. Uh, content from the places I was going, content mm -hmm. from just the road and the sceneries. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix of uh, the Tanzanian, you know, the scenery, the wildlife. There's a little bit of uh, wildlife. Yeah. Actually, I've seen some yes. of her video clips there. Mm -hmm. Wow, man. Mm -hmm. Woo! Mm -hmm. We're just going to have them put together nicely for you so that you can enjoy them the same way you saw that, you know, Uganda. I also put together Uganda. <clears throat> so she's put together Tanzania. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. this is a beautiful region that we have over here. And we can take road trips. And it's not very expensive, yeah? No. Something like about, how much? It's about $35. Yeah, it's about the way down dollars. to which is thirty five hundred shillings, yeah. Kenya shillings. You and you need a there. temporary. Well, if you have your passport, your yeah. normal passport, you're good to go. If you don't have it, you mm -hmm. can get a, an online temporary permit. Oh, as a Kenyan. Yes. Okay. As, oh, as an East African, actually. As an East African. Oh yeah. But for the true. Kenyan government, I got it online. It's very easy. Just imagine. You just go guys. on e citizen, mm -hmm. the government e citizen platform. Mm -hmm. You log in. You go to the immigration department and mm -hmm. you pick that you want a temporary permit. You oh. say where you're going. It's done in it's done in process and you pay by Mpesa oh. or by a or by a by mobile money. Fantastic, yeah. yeah, that's really nice. So guys, man, when you have like a long weekend, pick up your shuttle and go down to Dar. Yes, go down, down to Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, mm -hmm. and enjoy and and come back with beep beep songs. <laughs> ah. You should see, she knows she's glowing. She has to explain to me exactly why she's glowing. Yeah, no food. <laughs> <laughs> food. Tell us about the food. What do they eat over there? What do they grow in Tanzania? There's a lot of <clears throat> maize. Mm -hmm. A lot. Like I thought. Yeah, I know I we thought... buy maize from Tanzania, by the way. The like huge I thought, country. I thought Kenyans we plant maize. Mm. Oh, why ah. are they serious maize? Like uh -huh. their farms are big. Huge. Because they're big in size, so even the farms yeah. are big. Yeah. So there is maize. Yeah. I saw uh, potatoes. Uh -huh. I saw um, yams. Ah, uh, lovely. Sweet potatoes. Rice. Uh, rice, yeah. pyrethrum, sisal. Okay, well, that's not food, but anyway, yes. Oh, yeah, pyrethrum, yeah, sisal. <laughs> <laughs> she really said the food. Now you talk about pyrethrum and sisal. Lots of fruits, thing. lots of oh, fruits, yeah. uh, oranges, yeah. mangoes. Yeah. All those oranges, for sure, we get them from there. Yes. And they're sweet. You know, the place is kind of drier. Yes. It's south of Nairobi, uh -huh. south of Nairobi, so it's much drier. It's mm. south of Mombasa, so mm -hmm. it's dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really nice. What are the people like? Are they nice? Are they friendly? Yeah, the people ah. are super friendly. How are the friendly? police? Those are the ones I worry about oh. most. The police are so strict. Like, the oh. law is the law. And there's a limit on the highway. So you mm -hmm. have to go 50 kilometers per hour. On At T50? <laughs> what will you ever reach? Jeez. <laughs> That's why the roads are so good, but the journey is long because of that law. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But they say they used to have a lot of accidents, a lot of accidents, like in every province. It's because every the roads are carpeted, mm -hmm. Kabisa mm -hmm. carpeted, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So what about accommodation? Where did you stay, and how did you experience the accommodation, the hotels? How much were they? Did they cost? Like uh, with the Inda, yeah. for about thirty five dollars, mm -hmm. you get a really. I don't know if I want to give a shout out. Yeah, give a <coughs> shout out. Give a to shout where out. I was. Yes. Sophia Hotel. Yeah, Sophia you guys Hotel must go. Oh, if you're oh, in Dar es Salaam, go to that oh, Sophia, oh, Sophia 
palace. It's be, it used to be called Sophia House. Sophia House Hotel. Mm. Really, really, really nice. Mm. And uh, very friendly, warm, welcoming place. Yeah. Nice food, decent beds. And Not very and very, and very good package. Like yeah. they do your laundry and it's part of the it's part of your Imagine. Church. Me when I stayed there yeah. long ago, they would give me masala tea in the night. I would just say, I'm not feeling well. Someone runs the kitchen and brings me masala tea and mm. don't even charge me for it. Mm. They were just so friendly. And they, do they friendly. still have that living room where you can sit and watch yeah. TV together? Yeah. There's That's like a common There's a common sitting room for people. Yeah. So that, you know, you're not going to be just like cooped up in your little hotel yeah. room. And it's right in the middle of the of the city, isn't it? Yes. It's on BBTT Street. What is it called? Uh, BB <laughs> BBT Mohammed BBTT Road. Yeah, yeah, which is actually right in the center of town next to yeah. the Peacock Hotel mm. and other hotels there. Mm. But it's actually much more reasonable and very friendly service. I, know. I found I found the package to be quite you know, like I would say compared to others, yeah. they really have a good package. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what did you not like about Dar es Salaam since I can hear what you like? Uh, what I didn't like about Dar es Salaam mm -hmm. is of course if you get there late at night. Ah, you got there very late, of course. How long did that trip take, by the way? How many hours? About 17 hours. Ah, at 17! Yeah, My goodness, you guys go to America. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we have to increase the speed limit. 50 kilometers an hour is not going to do it. 17 hours to do that's just torture and it's sad because you find you would expect that that's in, like a place, two hour in a place with bad roads but okay. the roads are carpeted but the law is a law it's 50 kilometers <laughs> that is torture guys man Anyway, I'm sure they don't have accidents like we do in Kenya yeah, to some extent. Their systems and their laws are pretty like mm -hmm. with the new president. It's very like the law is the law. Yeah. It's really very strong on that. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me your experience when you're vlogging and in the bus. Do uh, they allow you to vlog with your stick? In the in the in the I had an easier time vlogging <coughs> coming back. Like coming back from uh Arusha to Namanga mm -hmm. because I got a shuttle. When I was going, I was in a big bus. All right. So the bus, you know, it's many people, mm -hmm. so you have to be pretty sensitive. Mm -hmm. But the shuttle that I came back with is kind of like a safari, safari kind of. So they expect you to yeah. be taking pictures. So like photos the people in use. there are foreigners and people are very excited to take mm -hmm. photos. So it's it's very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. So now we've talked about vlogging, we've talked about the food, we've talked about Sisal, we've talked about what? We've talked about the friendliness of the people, the food. I mean, how oh, much? No, what food. else? What else? What food. else? Food, like the street food. Of course, <clears throat> you have to try the chips my eye. You know, the, the chips my eye? Yeah, <laughs> chip, chipsy my eye. That's chips and eggs. Oh, oh my god. On the it's street. Like, yes, hmm. on the street. <laughs> now, See. that is where <laughs> point of departure. Huh? My son, you know, he loves street food. But me, and I raised him to hate it. And he loves it. See? Me. Mshikaki. I will never eat nice street food. Mshikaki. Call me whatever you want to call me. I don't need those streets. If I don't see a tap where the oh people are washing their hands, God. forget that. <laughs> I ain't going to eat on the street. No way. You see? <laughs> the arrogance here. Mm. Uh, arrogant. Oh, well. Actually, it's not really that. It's just for me, I worry about, you know, hygiene. So I don't want to get sick. And you have a sensitive stomach. Yeah, and I'm sensitive because of that. Yeah. You know, you, you become sensitive because you don't have the bacteria. Mm -hmm. I haven't developed that ah. that bacteria to take care of such issues. Mm -hmm. Because I've mm -hmm. always, you know... Because you're very, strict. Yeah, I'm very strict mm -hmm. with what I eat. And, and where. Like, and where I eat. Yeah. Make sure at yeah. least the handling of the food. But it's okay. You enjoy it. Eh? <laughs> I really enjoy it. Uh -huh. can't keep chips my eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can also equally, because like in the, the prices really... And if you're like at Sofia, which is really in the CBD, so even the street food is not... You know, it's not like cheap. Yes. So in the in the so long run, it's a bit more expensive yeah. overall. And when when you come back to Morogoro and Arusha, coming back ah, up, Morogoro was uh, Morogoro is very affordable. Ah, Morogoro and it's on the way to Dodoma, affordable. which is the new capital city, isn't mm, it? Yeah, like the new ad administration capital. Yeah. So actually, Tanzania has used to have the capital as Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. and then uh, they moved it to Dodoma. Mm -hmm. You know, just like the way in the in Nigeria, they used to have the capital in Lagos. Yeah. Now it's Abuja. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. many, you know, when we are we were also hoping that they'll move the capital of Nairobi. They are gonna do that. To where? <laughs> Some people were talking about going to Machakos. Oh, and you know, now that becomes issues because we have tribalism in this country. Yeah, right? like, why would you take it there? <laughs> take it so far. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. But I think it's just going to remain in Nairobi. Exactly. So what else are you going to tell us about Tanzania? What about the guys? Eh? Tell me about the guys. Come on. <laughs> That's what I want to know. What are the relationships ah, like? Woo. The guys, they're so, like, I found, like, my actual guy experience that, that I had because I was, like, busy, busy on the schedule. So I was kind of like, 
not not wanting to give guys time like in Dar and Morogoro. Mm -hmm. But in Arusha I was relaxed because you know I'm almost close to home. Yeah. So the guys there I found them to just be like coastal Kenyan guys. Like uh -huh. <laughs> coastal Kenyan guys meaning what? <laughs> like very very rom like very romantic. Oh, like very you know, like woo. very like I see you and I love you. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh, you don't they know say immediately me. they love you. I'm like, you My don't God. even know me. You just so. become lovable, you know? <laughs> because you don't want to disappoint them. <laughs> and if you say you don't love them back, it's oh. an issue. But yeah. you have to be real and I have to be like, you know, like I'm So you had to now. tell a couple of people you don't love them back. Yeah, I had to tell them like like because I don't like to lie. And for I me like love, love like love is a strong word. Shiro, you don't say those words. <laughs> you just say I I love you too. Ah. With with the with God. <laughs> I love you with agape love. <laughs> Shiro, God. You broke a couple of no, hearts. But I said, no, I said I like you. Oh, you know, because like I told them, yeah. I was trying to tell Nakupenda. them that there's a difference between Swahili. like and love. Because sometimes like, what it is, sometimes what it is is that you know the language, mm -hmm. Swahili, the actually direct translation of love, nakupenda. We don't have a word for na Naku like. A like. We don't really say, ah. we don't have a like word. We love people. If, or yeah, they could Muslim, be meaning I like they you. They mean I like you. Yeah, I like ah. you. And now you're taking it as I love you. Come on, man, that's a culture shock. Oh yeah, that on behalf sense. of the ignorant Shiro, please, all Tanzanian guys who were told that they're not loved, please understood. She uh, she likes you. <laughs> she likes you. She yes, I like you. you. Oh, you know yourself. <laughs> oh, she I like you. That is so interesting. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah, but they're very sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, like very, like very gentlemanish behavior. Like oh. they will call a cab for you. They will oh. open the door. They wow. will. They will want to see if you're eaten or if yeah. you want to. Like they're very. Considerate. Yeah, yeah, very considerate. Wow, isn't very, that nice? Mm, isn't that nice mm, about Tanzanians? Mm. Actually, Tanzanians are known to be very polite, mm -hmm. you know, especially mm -hmm. towards women. Mm -hmm. the, the gender, you know, they, they really play the gender role. The same mm -hmm. thing with Ugandans, mm -hmm. you know, that they play the gender role. In Kenya, you can be treated like a boy, yeah, even if Kenya, you're a girl. In Kenya, is every person for him, for, for themselves. For yeah, <laughs> guys. God, God for us all. God for us all. There woman. are a few, there are a few <laughs> who have consideration, but most men, they also fear, in Kenya, they fear trying to be nice to a lady mm. and a lady fears trying to be nice to a guy you know overly considerate to a person i don't know why there's this like mistrust there's a lot of mistrust about intentions you know yeah but you go to those countries and you find no you know they're very comfortable you know um speaking to you even mm. in nigeria it's the same ghana is the same i experienced mm. it all over africa mm -hmm. except for kenya and, and south africa South well, Africa oh, is because, very similar. Oh, oh, what is it? Is it because we're like capitalist? You know, like yeah, we have a very capitalistic society. That's true. But so and does Tanzania, Nigeria. And Tanzania has so social, Nigeria. socialism kind of. Yeah, socialism, socialism helps. But I think it's also we're very far away from our traditions. Mm. Because, you know, traditionally, I think we, we also have this human rights. You know, we have one of the first Be Women Beijing Conference. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I think men grew up knowing, you know, that, they, that there's some things that they can or cannot do. They can be prosecuted, mm. blah, 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 blah. So these other countries, oh, they don't really have these Because of the gender Ge strides that Kenya... Yes, those gender strides have also come with unstrides. You know mm. what I mean? Uh, going backwards so that, you know, it's very difficult to tell the line. What a woman can do, a man can do. That's very, do that's very big in Kenya. And that has kind of worked mm. against the romantic relationships between, between people. Yeah. You know, generally, generally, yeah. Okay, Shiro. Well, you know what, guys? We're going to be showing you those videos very soon. We're going to put it together, her tri road trip to Tanzania, and show you the opportunities in Tanzania, the beautiful roads, what I saw, yeah? Very Great beautiful construction. Roads, very good organization. Yeah. Even the villages are organized, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And clean, very clean. And like, even how buses, the bus parks, and how where mm -hmm. public, public uh, transport, where vehicles they park and where they go. Like it's a lot so of organization, yeah. It's very difficult to be corrupt in Tanzania right now, mm, especially mm, bribery is really mm, down. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and in Dar, they were saying most businesses are closing because Why? those who are corrupt. Oh, the are, corrupt like, businesses are closing. Like the law close. is very strict on them, so they yeah. can't afford to ah, be on With a new Magafuli in town. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Magafuli, man, Pululiza. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, so All yeah, right, guys. yeah. Uh -huh. So that is an update from Mo and the Girl with mm -hmm. Shiro, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope that you guys have had a good time so listening much. to us. Uh -huh. And I now we're gonna mama. continue with our song. I love you, Mama. Ooh, with all the love she was told, that she doesn't like people. <laughs> Ni kesi na iwe, 